All right, today we're gonna to be going over how to measure alternating current, voltage, and amperage. Something to keep in mind, a lot of times with a more inexpensive meter, it's probably not gonna have the option to measure AC amperage. It'll probably only be rated for DC amperage. If you're trying to learn this in a better effort to understand maybe why you don't have power coming out of your wall, something like that, I'd really recommend investing in a little socket tester. They're pretty inexpensive. You can get them online. The voltage display isn't very accurate. It's great for knowing if your wiring is correct or if there's voltage present. If you are needing to measure AC amperage and it's not on your meter, you'll also want to consider getting something like this that has an amp clamp that you can go ahead and put over your hot or your neutral and that'll give you an amperage rating. Let's get into it. First, let's go ahead and just start with AC voltage measurement. Now on your meter, you're going to notice above your ports, you have your common for your black lead, and then you might, you may or may not have two separate red lead ports. And you'll wanna look over to see what it's rated for for your measurements. In the configuration that we'll be using, our measurements are gonna be want to be done in parallel with a live circuit. So it is live electrical, so please be cautious. Also, just make sure you keep your fingers off the probes. Wearing gloves that are rated for electrical probably isn't a bad idea either. I'll go ahead and put my meter to volts AC. Whenever you see a little, it's a sine wave. Whenever you see a sine wave on your meter, that's going to be indicating to you that that setting is for alternating current. So this is saying alternating current voltage. This one down here is saying alternating current amperage. With making an alternating current voltage measurement, polarity is not going to matter for your measurement. What do I mean by that? I mean your black and your red lead can be in either way. So so this gray wire here is my neutral, this red wire here is my hot. I can make my voltage measurement in either direction and I'll still get the same voltage measurement. Let's go ahead and look at that on an auto selecting meter. Auto selecting meter is going to have different ranges of resolution. So for an example, this meter here, it gives me a 600 and a 200. What it's trying to say is you can measure up to 600 volts or up to 200 volts and it's just going to change the resolution. And what do I mean by that? See how we're just going to have a whole number here? I'll take the same measurement. Okay, it's just showing 12. It's to the nearest whole number. If I refine my resolution to the 200 setting, now my meter will have a decimal and it should give me a more accurate reading. Now we're seeing 11.8. 11.9. For measuring current, we can either use an amp clamp or we can measure in series. I'll go ahead and show you what an amp clamp measurement would kind of look like. On this meter, it's only rated for AC amperage. That's what the clamp's rated for. And you're going to want to put your amp clamp around either the hot or the neutral, but not both. It's showing me it's drawing two amps of current. Now I can do that around the neutral wire, still get the same reading, say I want to put it around like an extension cord that doesn't have a separate neutral and hot, they're going to cancel each other out and it's going to come back as zero. If you're wanting to make a measurement with an amp clamp for something that's coming out of your wall, you'll want to look into something called a line splitter and that'll allow you to put the clamp around the neutral or the hot in a very safe manner. On this meter, it has the option to measure up to 10 amps of AC or DC current. And to make this measurement, we're going to need to do it in series. What do I mean by that? I mean, basically you're gonna be using the meter as a jumper wire for your hot or for your neutral to complete the circuit for your load. Now this can be somewhat dangerous. I don't like doing this with, with a very large load. Again, it can take up to 10 amps. Something that draws 10 amps at 120 volts, that's a big load. So in that case, I would really just prefer to use an amp clamp. I don't like, you know, two amps is really the most I generally will ever do with my meter. But we're gonna switch our hot port over to this amperage port. I'll put my meter to amps AC. Now we're gonna turn on power. Notice that my light bulb's not turning on because my circuit's not complete. I have to complete the circuit with my meter. We're getting 2.1 amps, same reading that we were getting with our amp clamp. 
If I were to exceed that amperage level, there's a special quick acting fuse in the meter that would pop to help protect you, the meter, and the equipment. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you.